Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today, as you can see, we have our Wico battery up and um, our Lux power inverter. Uh, first things first, Wico provided us with these cables, they are 25mm cables, which is exactly what uh, the Lux power recommends. And Lux com power comes with these bushings here that you put in to stop moisture and dust from going on and then you screw this and as you can see it has a rubber gasket at the end so when you screw it in this is flush with the rubber gasket um, the Wico I need to use a Torx remove these two screws to get to what I have behind there my positive and negative um, terminals and then in there there are dip switches and a bunch of other things so I need to remove this cover in order for me to connect this battery to this here so this is our, our project that's going to cost the next day or two for us to test this battery with that inverter. So we're, here we are, we've connected our battery positive to our inverter battery, our battery, our battery battery positive and our inverter battery negative to our battery battery negative. So as you could see, um, these are all wires for connections if you need to do them we're not using this now um wico is going to get is going to get the lux power inverter approved and once that is approved we can use this bms can connect it from here to the inverter right there and as you see they both have dip switches so i'm going to go read and find out what um positions the dip switches are supposed to be in and then we'll take it from there so here we are the battery connection is done. Um, here is our Wico battery standing up. We can st install it this way or we can mount it on the wall. My preference is that it's going to get mounted on the wall. Um, the Wico battery is slightly wider than our inverter as you could see. Let me see if I can. Let me stand up and show you the view. So here I am standing. You could see the Wico is wider than our inverter. I would have liked to have laid it on the floor, but as you could see, let me go to the back and show you. There are vents in the back, as you can see, and I didn't want to crush them. Actually, they're not vents. Oh, they are vents, yes. So I didn't want to crush them. So that's the reason why it's not lying on the, um, it's not lying on the table. This is held in place with a Torx. I was thinking it was an Allen, but it's actually a Torx. So there are two torques, and that goes on like that. Let me see, let me put it back on. Okay, clumsy me. Um, okay. Okay, let me turn this off and then put it back in and then come back and show you how it goes. Okay, I figured out the cover has a, as you can see, has tabs and those tabs slide into the side and then it sits and then I secure it with my two Torx screws so here are the Torx screws, I'm not going to tighten them for now because I need to go read the manual and I need to read the manual for both the inverter and the battery before I turn anything on also this inverter, as you can see there's a Wi-Fi dongle it has to, you, you have to use your phone to program it. You can't program it any other way but with your phone. And it also connects to the internet. So I have to install the app, follow the instructions I was given by the manufacturer in order to get it turned on. There is a cover here that covers this to keep it waterproof. Also for all your um, CAN and BMS connections, there is also another cover to keep it waterproof. And then the connectors for your AC input and your AC output also um, a waterproof watertight connectors and then you put the cover in front so so far so good i'm pretty psyched um hopefully by the time i do a video tomorrow this will be run hello youtube hello. dr sola coming to you today with my wico battery on and it is powering my inverter so here is the inverter of course i have a error it says warning because there's no pv and there's no AC input um, it rec so I need this or my laptop to program the inverter so now it's looking for a battery a BMS so I guess the default is lithium 
I need to go in and change that default to whatever it is I want it to be. So right now it is on, I'm so psyched. And hopefully before the day is out, I'll know what to do and then tomorrow I'll go mount it. Hello YouTube. Okay, so it's the end of the day. I didn't make much progress. Part of it is me being a thick head. So let me tell you what I am supposed what I tried to do. So I followed the instructions that came from the manufacturer. And like you saw in the in the previous shot, the Wico battery was powering this. It's now turned off as you can see it's off and the inverter is off. Now in order for me to talk to the inverter I need uh, my laptop or my phone. Well guess what I was using the Wi-Fi wi address for my router instead of using this here the Wi-Fi address from the dongle the Wi-Fi dongle. So I spent quite a bit of time, didn't figure it out, took my laptop back to my room and then boom it hit me. So guess what, tomorrow uh, they give you a, an IP address 10.10.10.1 10 .10 and then you have to be, you have to use, so you have to set your Wi-Fi to this device. This device transmits or broadcasts. So once you see it transmitting or broadcast, there's a light here that light is solid once it's solid it's uh, broadcasting pick it up enter that 10.10.10.1 you open a browser and then you enter the password the username username and password and you have accessed this device and then you can change parameters you can use it to set up the Wi-Fi for the home or the office so I have Wi-Fi here I use it set up the Wi-Fi and then I can connect um, remotely using the internet because this will be connected to the internet. So in summary, I spent the entire day uh, doing a boneheaded thing, something very simple, like same experience I had with my um, with the previous inverter. And now I know what to do. I log into this, and once I log into this, I can enter information to change it. So real quick, um, I moved it around a little bit so you can see both in the same frame without me having to stand above them. So here we go. Um, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you're here to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. If you have any comments, please post them below. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for part two of this video. So thank you once again. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.